Oh, hello there. Welcome to the self-isolation station. I am Darren Brown. You may know me as Darren Fun Brown on Twitter. Uh, you also may know me from my podcast, Sound of Hockey, which I do with NHL to Seattle's John Barr and also Andy Eide. You can listen to that podcast on iTunes or on Spotify or on Stitcher. Uh, make sure to leave your five-star review on iTunes because we love getting those and we read them on our episodes. Uh, if you haven't heard our latest one yet, we interviewed Ryan Hardy, the GM of the USHL's Chicago Steel, and he is awesome. So give him a listen. Uh, the reason I'm doing this self-isolation station is, as you know, we are self-isolated. We are in quarantine. And in this quarantine period, I'm finding that I have a little extra time on my hands. So like a lot of people out there, I decided that I wanted to learn a new skill. And the skill that I chose to learn was video editing and video production. So that's what you're looking at. Basically, it's an opportunity for me to do some practice, do some experimenting, learn how to do it. I'm not always going to talk about hockey on this little self-isolation station. I think sometimes I will, uh, but we'll try to mix in some other things too, just so that everybody's entertained, even if you're not a big hockey person. By the way, if you are a big hockey person, one of the segments that I'm going to do on this is tips for being legit. My first tip for being legit, see this right here? You see this? See what that is? Strings, but not just any strings. These are skate laces, okay? If you're a hockey person, right, and you wear a hooded sweatshirt, this is a hooded sweatshirt. You'll see it's an old Easton hockey hooded sweatshirt. You know that I'm a legit hockey person because I have skate laces on my sweatshirt. Now you can do this for pretty much any sweatshirt. All you have to do is slit down here, put some holes in it, and then lace some skate laces through. I know that when I was in high school, this was a really big deal. Now this was like 18 years ago that I was in high school, but it was totally cool then, so I'm pretty confident that it's cool now. Speaking of high school, I wanted to do a video version of one of the segments that we do on the podcast. And that segment is everyone's favorite segment, Goalie Gear Corner! <laughs> now in this week's Goalie Gear Corner, we talk about Brian Elliott's home actual Goalie Gear Corner. Basically, he's got this like wall that's like all built in and it's got all his masks from over the years and it's just, it's so cool. It's something for me to strive for, but it at least got me thinking that if I'm gonna do a video anyway, and obviously my personal favorite segment is Goalie Gear Corner on the podcast, I should do a video version of it, don't you think? Here's my mask. Now, I had it painted in high school. I'm still, you know, living the dream with this thing, but to give you a little bit of background, so, my high school was Burnsville. If you're wondering why you've heard the phrase Burnsville before, that's because it's home to uh, the Canucks Brock Besser. Ever heard of him? So the mascot for Burnsville was the Blaze and the guy that they had as their like person in the mascot suit was called Sparky. So this is him. He looks like, uh, I don't know, he's got like flame hair, right? Now, when I was in, I think it was probably junior high, high school, something like that, when I had this painted, like I said, Ryan Miller was at Michigan State University, okay? He had his mask painted with Sparty the Spartan, and it had like the Spartan up on top and then arms coming down. So basically what I did was I modeled this mask exactly after Ryan Miller, except I took our high school mascot, Sparky, put it on the top, so there's his arms. Down in the front here, you see it's got the B for Burnsville. Uh, it's got a nice big chip in it, and that's from me throwing the mask after a difficult loss. On the back plate, we've got the Blaze logo and a little AM Studios sticker. AM Studios was the guy who painted it. I have what's called the certified cat eye cage on here. Uh, now, I used to have just a regular old, like, straight up and down bars. It got really rusty. I talked about that on one of our podcast episodes, actually, uh, getting that replaced with this one. Finding this thing to fit an old NXI mask is not an easy feat because they don't make this mask anymore, uh, but I found it. So the difference between a certified cat eye cage and a regular cat eye cage is essentially this bar right here and this bar right here. So without those, obviously there's a lot more space here, right? And it's not so much the puck can get through there, but the knob of a stick can definitely get through there. So I decided at the last second to go with the certified one that has this extra bar. Uh, gives me a little bit more eye protection. That's my mask. I've talked about it a few times on the podcast. so thought you guys might want to see it and hear about it a little bit. And you know what? That's pretty much all I have for my first episode of the Self-Isolation Station. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, enjoy yourself a nice cold college soda at home while you're keeping yourself safe. 
and away from people and wash your hands, people. I'll be back soon. I'm not sure how often I'm going to do this, if I'm going to put it on YouTube or, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but it's fun practice for me. Hope you enjoy, feel free to give your feedback and uh, just let me know what you wanna see for the future. Thanks for watching.